portraits of parliamentarians is about recognising their outstanding contributions made by many individual men and women to the life of our parliament. The role of the committee is to look after all the works of art but also to commission new works which actually show us the continuing history of the people who live and work here which is why of course the Lord Speaker was such an important person to uh, commission a portrait for. An image of you whilst you're in office is much more valuable to our historical collection and it is a lasting record of your work as our Lord Speaker. But it is also important to a collection that it's used in a very proactive way, that the work of women in Parliament is also celebrated. And Lord Speaker, you are an excellent role model uh, for young women, an example of what they can achieve with, with their lives. This is really an important parcel of the tradition in the House of Lords and indeed in Parliament as a whole, whereby people who are in senior positions are subjected to a portraitist <laughs> at one point in their career. And this not only marks um, the passage of time, which we call history, but what it has also resulted in is a very large number of extremely fine paintings. And what I'm going to do now is make you gasp. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a, a fantastic quote today that will relieve me of spending any time at all talking about my work. Uh, and it goes something like this. It was by Jean Cocteau and he said, um, asking an artist to talk about his work is a bit like asking a plant to talk about horticulture. <laughs> The recognisable part of it is a bit of a smokescreen in a sense because you look at it and go, oh, that looks like the person. But actually the decisions along the way to create something that describes your relationship as the artist with the sitter is, um, is very interesting to me. And I think in this, ca in this particular case we had such a good time. I hope that comes across. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's a formal, it's a formal portrait, and, and one can't get away from that. And I wouldn't want to either. I, actually, I rather like the formality uh, of these types of portraits, where you, in, this, in, my, in this particular case, there was an opportunity to, to paint this wonderful wallpaper, which I love, uh, yeah. and a bit of linen fold, which I don't do very often, um, <laughs> and, 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 and all of this stuff that you only really see in uh, Renaissance portraits, I mean, uh, uh, which I've always thought was, must have been great fun to paint, and, and it is. I think it, it's excellent. I think it does two things really, um, which is what you want. One, to capture the role of the Lord Speaker, but also to capture something of the person who is the Lord Speaker. And I think our artist, Paul Benny, has done that brilliantly. Like with all my portraits, this is really uh, an investigation of the relationship that develops over a period of time uh, in the studio. I recognise it as a really, really good painting. I mean, I think it's masterly. I think that it reveals something about me which I myself didn't actually know, but I do now. But it also is, you know, it's, it's a good painting about, about the role, of the role, because it is, it is formal, but it is also informal. It is actually a role with a person in it. There would automatically be a formal element there, which you can't avoid. Not that I even would avoid, actually, because I kind of like that formality in a way, and then sort of offset that with my understanding of, of who Frances is and hopefully bring that informality, which she brings, actually, to, the, to her office, uh, into the painting. The House of Lords is not just a lot of people with wigs and tights, but it's got real people in it. Um, and that, however formal the role, um, one imbues it with, you know, uh, something of one's personality. 
contributing to the history of the building is always a good feeling for me. Um, and knowing that these works will be here way past uh, when we've gone. I'm quite happy by the way the, the wallpaper, the Putin wallpaper, sits with her. And also this Agapanthus design uh, is one that I really like anyway. It was just like notched it down a few steps, which I think helped with her complexion as well. Paul knows that I was quite surprised that he chose to do a green background and I never thought that that was going to sort of work. I mean, who am I uh, to say so? But in fact, it's absolutely brilliant. If you have a relationship with that person, which I suspect with this, uh, I will, and Francis and I have become friends. So perhaps in a few years time, we can look at it again and see how both she and I have both developed. And I think that might be amusing. It will be on show and it will be an important part of explaining to people how the house works. The Lord Speaker um, is the person who sits on the wool sack in our house when we are sitting, when we are in session. And that's a very important part of explaining to people how politics works and how the history carries on.